Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment or question in the section down below. And I'm going to leave a link in the description in case you wanted to get one of these for yourself. Hey, what's going on, Rich? I want to do a quick video for you. This is a Surefire P1R Peacekeeper. Uh, this is the dual output version. I've had this for a while. I finally wanted to do a review on it. So this is what the box looks like uh, on high. This is when you first push the button. It comes on 600 lumens, and it lasts 1 hour and 45 minutes. And then if you hit the button again, it goes down to low. 15 lumens last 45 hours, and it throws 230 meters, and it is waterproof up to one meter. Just open the box like this, open the top of it, and slide it out. Then it comes in a black box like this, open it up. So when you buy this, you're getting the light itself, you're getting the battery, you're also getting the charger, which has two slots for two different batteries. It's got green and red LEDs, and what that does is when you put the battery in, it, it's red to show you that it's charging. Once it's fully charged, these turn green. You get a wall plug, and you also get a car charger. Plug your car adapter in the side right here, and then you plug it into your car, and you can charge it through your 12 volt outlet. And if you want to charge it at home, you get a 110 plug for USA. Just put that in there, like so. And that's how you do it. Unscrew the tail cap, the battery here, 18650, just put that in like so. And here we go. Got an orange peel reflector, so what that does is, instead of having a really tight hot spot in the middle, this makes the uh, the hot spot more, a little bit more of a flood, but it definitely throws extremely far. It throws 230 meters, so. Definitely throws far, and it has a nice beam in the nice, nice hot spot also. So that is it on high, that's 600 lumens, and that's it on low. I've been carrying this light for over a year, almost a year and a half. I use this as my everyday carry, and I really, really love this light. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. The head of it isn't too big. Um, it fits really good in your hand. The knurling is just perfect. It's not too sharp where it doesn't cut your fingers, but it gives you a nice grip on it. And it does have a slight crenulated bezel here, so if you need it for striking, it's always, you know, you could do that. But overall, this, this is probably like the perfect everyday carry light. Uh, especially for like security or law enforcement. I would definitely highly highly recommend this light. The anodizing on this is amazing. Got the hexagon shape on the top of the head so when you put it down it doesn't roll. But you can stand it on the head if you need to. You can't tail stand this light because the switch is there. You can use two CR123 batteries in this if you want the disposable ones. That's definitely the one thing about the other Surefire lights that I didn't like. I had to keep throwing away batteries. So each time you use it, you have to put two batteries in. So I was changing the batteries maybe once every two months. But honestly, I wasn't spending that much money on the Surefire batteries. I would say I was buying a box of 12 batteries maybe once a year. With something like this, you get the rechargeables. They last you know, a lot longer and you could always carry an extra rechargeable with you and just pop it out and recharge it. You don't have to spend the money. I can definitely get through an entire month without having to recharge my light, but if you're someone that's in security and law enforcement and it's critical that you always have a fully charged battery, you could probably charge it once a week, maybe at the end of the week, Sunday before the week starts, and you'll definitely be able to get through an entire week without a problem and definitely have a lot left over. That's it on full brightness. That's 600 lumens right there. And you can see it off in the distance. Very good thrower, at least a couple football fields. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, definitely click that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content, and let me know if you got any questions or comments in the section down below. And I'm gonna definitely leave a link in the description in case you wanted to buy one of these for yourself. Thanks again for watching. Take care.